We're feeling a little chilly outside today for our finally Friday, but don't worry, we're going to be warming up here as we head into the weekend. This afternoon, though, sitting anywhere from the low 40s in northeast Iowa into the mid 40s here in southeastern Minnesota and even up towards uh, Red Wing right now at 54 degrees. So we're slowly beginning to warm up, but we're going to stay on the cool side for the rest of today. We are getting a little bit of some of that sunshine back in the background now. Uh, here's a live look from your Louis Donato camera in downtown Rochester. We're seeing that cloud cover breaking up slowly here this afternoon, and we'll get a little bit of more sunshine on the way for the late afternoon and towards that drive home. Future track radar showing a few showers in the area right now towards about Preston down towards Decorah into uh, the Cresco area as well. But these showers uh, looking to move out pretty quickly and then we'll see cloud cover uh, slowly decreasing here across the area uh, this afternoon as well. So more sunshine on the way for today and as we head into the weekend as well. So like I said, we are going to be getting more of that sunshine on the way this afternoon with some gradual cloud clearing tonight, though we're looking at the possibility for frost in the area. So make sure to bring indoors or cover any of those sensitive plants. You don't want to use them, lose them or have them damaged and throughout the weekend temperatures gradually warming back into more seasonal temperatures in the 60s. Uh, we will be seeing the possibility of a few showers as well. So you want to have an, have an umbrella nearby, but not expecting a washout by any means. So as we look forward here with future track, we'll see these showers and this cloud cover move out of the area here throughout the afternoon. More sunshine on the way for the dinner time hour, especially then as we head into the overnight hours, clear skies, uh, cool temperatures dipping down into about the mid uh, to low 30s overnight and very light to no wind are, is going to create some great conditions for that frost to develop. So again, use extra caution here tonight, cover up and bring inside any of those plants throughout Saturday. Then looking to see plenty of sun, widespread sunshine in the area, a few pesky clouds here and there. But otherwise, things are going to be pretty a okay with temperatures warming into about the mid 60s. As we head into Sunday, then we'll see cloud cover building across the region and a few showers may be possible early in the morning, but especially for the afternoon as well, where we will see probably the more likely chance for a few few showers in the area, but uh, not looking to be widespread, not looking to be a uh, washout by any means of your, of your Sunday. Uh, just something you may have to step inside or kind of grab that umbrella pretty quick if you are outdoors at all. But uh, that frost advisory is in place from midnight tonight until 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, really for the entirety, a uh, large portion here of the KDDC viewing area. So again, temperatures dipping down into about the low to mid 30s, little to no wind and clear skies, making some great conditions for that frost to be possible. So again, bring inside or cover any of those sensitive uh, plants that you may have outdoors. But to today we'll see highest topping off into about the mid 50s with some cool breezy conditions. We'll see the more of that sunshine on the way for this afternoon. Tonight temperatures will be cooling down into about the mid 30s. So it will be a cool areas of frost looking possible here for the area with light winds out of the southeast around three to six miles per hour. Your Memorial Day weekend looking pretty a okay. Temperatures warming back into the mid 60s for your Saturday and Sunday. Saturday looking to be dry and mild with mostly sunny skies. Mainly cloudy then expected for your Sunday. We'll see a few isolated showers possible in the afternoon as we head to Monday then. Opportunity for some isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs in the low 70s and we'll see a chance for uh, we'll see it makes the sun and clouds throughout the day as well. But as we track forward here into the upcoming week, kind of kicking off the unofficial start of summer over the weekend. Next week, looking to feel a little bit more like summer here with those temperatures warming up into the low and mid 70s. Jess, we have missed the sun. It'll be good to have it back tomorrow. Absolutely. Thanks, Sarah.